We've got the heat on. It's a little cold down here. Hey guys, welcome back to what will be the first video on this channel. Today I've got my personal computer here and my graphics card has a failing fan. So we're gonna talk about that, talk about how to check if your graphics card has a failing fan. So let's just go ahead and dig in. This is a really good screwdriver. If you guys wanna know what it is, let me know. I can do like a little review on it, but it is fantastic. I've used this to build many computers. Very good. Also, set of tweezers. You can get these at like Harbor Freight. But what's really nice is they have this little rubber protective thing on the end. So I've had to use these to get in uh, between my CPU cooler and my graphics card, push open the PCI Express slot. And you definitely wouldn't want to try this with just the tweezers. So it's got the protective rubber piece. Work like a charm. Set this somewhere, I won't knock it over. This is something I recently put in here. It's a power strip. I know it's something simple, but it keeps you from having to bend over and constantly plug in your power cord. So it makes it nice because I can just slide my workbench over here, take my power cord, plug it in right there and just flip the switch on that end. And I know it's working because of the lights. There we go. Let's dig in and look at this. So this is a Nitro Plus 5700 XT. I recently bought it off of eBay and was a little disappointed at first when I unboxed it and there was a screw loose. It kind of scratched the back plate. You probably won't be able to see it, but um, overall it was very clean. Still had like the plastic around the fan shroud and everything, but I was tinkering around with it and discovered that the middle fan is actually faulty and I'll show you guys how I discovered that. So luckily in this case Sapphire has their tricks software. Um, as you can see my graphics card shows up right there. Everything is fully functional. I've been testing this for a few weeks. The temperature seemed okay. The VRM and the memory seemed to run a little warm compared to uh, temperatures I found online and in Gamers Nexus review. But how I discovered it is I went to the fan check tab right there and then you just come down here and you click start fan check. It's gonna start on the left fan there. As you can see, it's gonna spin up these fans very fast. Not sure if you guys are able to tell that or not, but that middle fan is just not having it. So if we go back over here, you can see the left one tested out fine, but the middle one definitely red. I think the maximum RPM for these fans are like 3000 or 3200, somewhere in that range. And this middle fan only reaches about five or 600. So if you don't have a Sapphire card, or maybe you have a different manufacturer AMD or an Nvidia card, something you can do is download MSI Afterburner, and then you'll have to enable custom fan control, and then you'll have to uncheck auto right there, and then slide the fan slider all the way over to 100, and then you click apply. And this will probably definitely be hard to pick up on, but the fans are just making a weird, you know, kind of revving up and down kind of sound. And that's because that middle fan is just not functioning how it should be. It's having trouble reaching the full RPM like the two outer fans. It just revs up and down instead of holding a constant RPM. That middle fan is definitely a no-go. So while we have it down here, let's just go ahead and pull the card out, take the middle fan off, 
take the two outer fans off and compare those and I think you guys will see that that middle fan definitely needs to be replaced. All I did was just take some shop towels. It works really good for this situation. Put it down on the Lazy Susan because I don't want to just lay the graphics card. It'd probably be just fine. This is a wooden Lazy Susan, but um, just put down a piece of shop towel. It works just fine. Um, I'm just going to quickly, not that it's dirty, but. You want to keep your PC working good, you got to keep it clean. Okay, so I'm going to come around and get the camera. Show you guys where these screws are. They're kind of hard to get to. So luckily, one good thing about Sapphire graphics cards is all these fans can come off individually. There's no wire that ties them into one another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just take one of these fans off, one of the outer ones, and then take this middle one off, and I'll show you guys what's wrong with this middle one. So if we look in between these blades here, that screw right there needs to be taken out and that will allow the fan, these are like quick connect fans, that'll allow the fan to come off. And if we look in between these, each one of them have a screw. So those just need to be taken out with a Phillips number one and these fans will come right off. Okay, so we've got the left fan off. As you guys can see, there's just um, some little contacts down in there. The fan kind of slots in there, you push it down and then there's the screw hole. The same thing for this one. You know, it's got the contacts and i tell you guys you really got to get a magnetic parts tray because these screws that hold those fans in if you drop them even if you have good eyesight you're going to spend a while looking for those so here is the left fan the left and the right fans have the nitro logo on them and the middle fan has the little robot or whatever you want to call that so i'm going to do my best to convey this to you guys to really confirm if you have a, a bad fan now if you have any other brand whether it's a different manufacturer of AMD or NVIDIA, this will be a lot harder of a process to take your fans off because most graphics cards fans are not these quick connect fans. But here is a known good fan. I'm gonna try my best to convey this, but if you guys can see, like the fan hub right there, kind of right, right around my thumb. So it's seated in there nicely. This fan works and you can also kind of push on the fan, not very hard, just a little bit, and kind of get a feel for it. Now this is the one that the Trix software, this is the middle fan, said that was faulty. Now if we flip this one over, I want to see if you guys can spot this. There's actually a sizable gap right there around my thumb. And while taking this fan off, and I was showing my mom, I was actually able to just not a great deal of force, pull this off. And that's just something you're not supposed to be able to do on a fan because if you take the same force and you try to pull that, you know, this off on a good fan, it's not going to come off. So this definitely confirms that this middle fan needs to be replaced. Unfortunately, I've reached out to Sapphire. This is an older card. So my only options are aftermarket. So I found this website that I will link down below. Not sure if they're good quality fans, but we'll see once they come in and we can put those on. I went ahead and took the right fan off just to kind of compare here because I first noticed that the dates on the middle fan sticker and the left fan sticker were different. So I went ahead and pulled off the right fan. And I don't know what to really make of this, but there's some things that are different here. For one, the prongs on the left fan, I don't know if this is by design, I'm just, you guys can let me know, but if you look at those prongs on the left fan, and these are the same size fans, and then look at the prongs on the right fan. Those look a lot larger to me, you guys can let me know, than those. And of course there's the middle ones. These, these two kind of look more the same, but then if we look at the left one, and then the right one, I'm oh, sorry, 
if we look at the right one and then the left one these prongs definitely look shorter and get this if we look at the model numbers here this ends with a M12D and it starts with an FD100 that's on the right fan and on the left fan the model number ends with an H12D and begins with a CF so not sure what exactly is going on here but the middle one it also ends with an H12D which is what the left one ends with but as far as I'm concerned the left and the right fan work but honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the entire set online. I'm a little bummed out that I can't get direct Sapphire Nitro Plus replacements. I guess if I really wanted to, I could take these stickers off and put them on the new fans, but that's just a little bit of work. So let's go ahead and get these installed back on the GPU, put it back in the system. Okay, got those put back in. They're a little finicky, uh, but still a really nice design that these fans are quick connect. Got the graphics card installed back into my PC, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I'm gonna get those fans ordered. I'll leave a link down below if you need to order some for your GPU. If you guys have any questions or need any help, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do better, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.